Bruno, why was Vince McMahon Sr., Vincent J. McMahon, a great wrestling promoter? Why he was a great wrestling promoter? Why? Well, for one thing, I'd like to think that uh, he did recognize uh, decent talent, you know, really good talent, and I think that he uh, uh, would, would uh, you know, if he believed that they were good talent, he would, uh, you know, to, uh, give them an, uh, every opportunity to, to, to prove themselves. Um, uh, you know what, uh, I, uh, other than that, I, I don't know what makes a great promoter. <laughs> I really don't know. I know this that a lot of people didn't know, but it's a fact and it's not bragging. I know that when I came in, in there, things were not well. Uh, uh, with, uh, with Buddy Rogers, I explained earlier how great he was, but the things were really, really... When I came in and I start uh, seeing different talent, I would tell him I saw so and so, and I thought it would be great. I have to say that he was very good that way. He would uh, trust my judgment and allow. Like for example, the first time I went to Australia, I saw Toru Tanaka there, and I I went to Japan. I saw this young, good-looking blonde guy, uh, Bobby Duncan, and I said, "Hey, you know, this 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 guy's a good talent. I'd watch him." And when I would tell McMahon about these people. He, uh, he, he he would uh, you know so I'd say that it was good because he trusted my judgment and he and he, and he would uh, bring them in. There were a few times we had fused. Uh, he didn't want to bring Carl Koch in. He didn't want to bring Big Bill Miller in because they had had an incident with Buddy Rogers. I told uh, I told McMahon that I that I that he had to understand that the fact that he may have liked Buddy, but Buddy did have enemies, and these two were amongst them. And I said, I'm the guy's going to be wrestling them. I said, uh, I, I, I think that they could be okay. Uh, of course, I, well, Bill Miller is the guy that I wrestled a lot because uh, 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 Gotch was a uh, baby face. But uh, so he, he did, he, he gave me that, you know, to, to, to bring it there. And I think that's a good promoter, instead of being one of these stubborn, mule-headed guys saying, no, no, and I, I'm, I only bring people in, no, you know what I mean? If he, if he trusted your judgment, then I think that makes for a good promoter. Harley, what made Sam Muchnick a great promoter? Sam had an edge on uh, most all the other promotions during that period of time because, as Bruno just said, the NWA title was headquartered in uh, St. Louis and Sam uh, had a, a great opportunity to pull top talent out of 25, 30 different places and he'd bring them in and he'd have them there for like a three month cycle and move on to the next. It operated uh, quite a bit like the garden did. Uh, the garden had cycled, uh, God, I forget who was up there around you at that point in time, but they had a lot of similarities and the opportunity for talent was there for both of them. So kind of flip the coin with them. Um, speaking of bookers, um, what makes a great booker? Imagination. I booked uh, Atlanta when it first went nationwide. I booked Kansas City, I booked St. Louis. Uh, and if you can keep from putting yourself in that position, that top slot all the time, uh, and bring in people around it. Just, it's it's really simple, or used to be simple to do. Uh, I'm sure right now the, uh, the way Vince's situation is relatively simple for them. They just have to keep trying to develop new stuff to show you. Mm -hmm. uh, in our day, you could get new stuff from anywhere in the world. A booker back then was relatively simple. Bruno makes a great booker. Well, the little booking that I did on my own when I had the tri-state wrestling promotions in uh, 
part of Pennsylvania High and West Virginia. To me, it was easy in the sense that uh, uh, I felt that I knew good talent. And if I had access to that good talent, I thought it was rather simple <laughs> to make the matches. Uh, good talent with good talent. And I uh, uh, saw that they got the proper TV exposure. We, I maintained that TV in Pittsburgh. I promoted there for eight years. And, uh, and also, I was doing a good bit. Not, I, I was never the booker for the WWF. But Vince McMahon, he had an office in Washington, D.C., and he would call me in the other room, and he would go over with me every Thursday because we used to have live TV back in those days. He used to go with me everything about, like, for example, most of my programs with the talent, they were mine. And, uh, and, and he would, uh, you know, would work together, let's put it that way, uh, 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 about these uh, programs in different cities.